the doer. If Allah wants to protect, there's no one within this universe that can harm. And if Allah wants to harm, there is no one within this universe can benefit. Success lies, lies in carrying out the teachings of Allah and His Rasul. How did Ibrahim become the Khalil? Because of his obedience to Allah. Allah embraced him. Allah made him the Khalil. And if you and I also turn to Allah, and carry out these teachings, follow Allah and follow Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam my young friends. Just as Allah embraced Sayyidina Ibrahim, Allah will embrace every single one of us. You take one, guys, look at how much we wrong Allah on a daily basis. And even then Allah embraces us. Even then Allah gives us. Even then Allah showers us with mercy. Even then Allah answers our prayers. Can you imagine if you took that step towards Allah and you showed that obedience, my young friends, and that dedication and that commitment and that love. If this is how much Allah is embracing you now, then my young friends, how much do you think Allah will embrace you if you took these steps towards Him with obedience, you followed His teachings? You live by his teachings. And if this is what Allah will do is for you in the dunya, then what do you think Allah will do for you in the akhirah? If this is how Allah will honor you in the dunya, that you will live like a king in the dunya. And you know, living like a king, my young friends, is not possessing the dunya. Living like a king doesn't mean that you've got 10 houses in London. You know, you're, 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 you're driving a Ferrari or a, you know, a, a Bugatti. This is, this is not living like a king. Living like a king, my young friends, is possessing nothing. And even then, you smile by the morning, you smile by the evening, and you smile every day, every night, till you leave this world. This is a king. That is content. That is happy. That doesn't turn to medication do you understand tablets because he's suffering from depression he doesn't commit suicide he doesn't turn to women and alcohol because he can't handle the pressures of the dunya that's not a king how many people out there possess more than what you and i will ever possess but they're not happy why is it that they die of depression why is it that they turn to alcohol and dope when they've got 10, 10 cars, 10, 10 women out there, millions of pounds in their back and balances. Because that, my young friend, doesn't bring about happiness. What brings about happiness? There's only one thing that brings about happiness, and that is the dhikr of Allah, the deen of Allah. The teachings of Allah and His Rasul and acting upon these teachings. The more you act upon these teachings, the more richer you will feel inside your heart. لَيْسَ الْغِنَاءَ أَنْ كَثْرَةِ الْأَرْضِ وَلَكِنَّ الْغِنَاءَ غِنَى النَّفْسِ And غِنَى النَّفْسِ, you can't buy it at Harrods or any other place. This you can only buy from Allah. You can only buy in Islam. The more you act upon it, my young friend, even though without a penny in your pocket, this is why you find people living in India or Bangladesh, or Pakistan, or Africa, sleeping on the floor using stones on their pillows. Yeah, every night when they sleep, they sleep like kings. There's nothing that affects them. They smile inside by morning and by evening. Allah takes care of all their affairs in the dunya. And if Allah takes care of all their affairs in the dunya, then don't you think Allah will take care of their affairs? in the Akhirah. Everyone's striving for the dunya because they're looking for happiness. Yet this dunya may bring about comfort, but it's not necessary that it will bring about happiness. Happiness you can't buy. You can't buy. Happiness is only sold in one shop, and that is the shop of Allah. And I conclude in this note. And that shop never closes. It's available for everyone. It's whether you and I actually want it or not.
If Allah doesn't give this understanding, then my young friend, what I've said today is not rocket science. It's very, very simple. You've heard it today, you've heard it before. You'll hear it again tomorrow. Allah give me the tawfiq, Allah give you the tawfiq to act upon what I've said.